Well, thanks for logging on to this week's Thursday night video. I'm going to be showing you a couple of products that I've been using over the last few months that I know a few eagle-eyed viewers have spotted in my recent live match videos right here on this channel. I'm also going to be bringing you news of the Boston Masters qualification campaign for next year. And I'm also going to be telling you about some of the competitions that I've got lined up that are going to take me right through the winter that I'm going to be bringing you videos all about right here on this channel. Well, following on from last Thursday's video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of products that I've been using over the last few months. Some of the Eagle Eye viewers have seen that I've changed the rests, the feeder rests, rod rests that I've been using. And I've changed over to the new ones that uh, the Matrix have brought out um, over the last few months really. I don't know if it was probably February, March, April time, something like that when these actually came out. These are the multi rests and there are only two that I carry and they kind of cover most of the scenarios that I'm usually faced with. I know this is something a lot of people ask about because it's quite easy to end up um, a little bit bogged down by the amount of um, variety of rod rests that are actually out there. These two that I've been using really cover most eventualities, if not all of them that I, I face. And, and I fish a, you know, a wide range of venues, both natural and commercial venues. These are the multi rests. Um, that, I mean, the first one is the, uh, the the large one that I use. This is the smooth one, as you can see, smooth for a reason. Um, there aren't any ripples or anything on this one, like on the ripple version. So this is a smooth EVA. That is just EVA coating there, and these have been great. I mean, I really use this one when I've got the rod on my knee, um, if I'm speed fishing and that sort of thing. Because obviously, if, um, if you know if you're trying to hit fast biting fish and you miss a bite, you can put the rod back down again, and it just means it's very very flexible. It's great. I use this in Ireland and places like that where I'm fishing very very actively. Um, like I say, this is EVA foam here, so that obviously protects your rod. Um, that's a really nice um, join there, so that means that you, your line doesn't get caught in there. There are certain versions of these out there. Um, by other brands and certainly the earlier versions as, as well where that is actually a gap where your line or your braid can actually get caught in and this is obviously that, that this doesn't create that problem at all which is obviously an added bonus you've also got the central groove there as well so if you do want to put the rod down and put the rest down uh, and, and obviously if, if you're turning the reel to tighten your tip and that sort of thing there is a groove there that means that obviously when the rod is in place there, your line can still run freely through that groove there. So it has got a locating position right in the center, as you can see. Um, it's just a really, really flexible um, rod rest for uh, for you know lots of styles of fishing really, but I mean, I re mainly use it when I'm speed fishing. It's got these end caps on here, as you can see, lime green, you know, and now well associated lime green. And that really just screws off like that. These are brass fittings, brass screws, so they're gonna last a long time. They shouldn't have any trouble in wearing out or wear and tear or anything. And that basically unscrews. And this actually comes with a selection um, on, on, on the card of different attachments. So you can actually change the end like that. So if you're feeder fishing or method feeder fishing, obviously that gives you something to rest your rod against like that. So you, obviously when you're feeder fishing, you get a lot of fish that hook themselves and that obviously gives you the option of doing that. So as regards variety, it's really, you know, like I say, I mean, I use the large one for speed fishing um, just because it's, there, there are, you know, several locations on there and it covers a wide area. So if I want to pick up and put the rod back down, then that's obviously a great option to do that. So that's the large one. That is 40 centimeters, okay? And then the small version is 25 centimeters, classed as the small. Now this, that is available in the smooth, Sorry, the 25 centimeter one is available in, in, in the smooth EVA, but then this is the ripple version. Obviously, you can see why it's been given that name, it's because it's got ripples on it. And that just means that obviously there are loads of locating spots on there for your rod, all right? And because it's rippled, it means that your line can run freely underneath the rod when it's in position. So obviously when you tighten it up to the tip or you want to back wind for any reason and slacken the tip off, then obviously that means your line runs through it. This one's also got the central locating um, position as well with the with the line groove. And again, this one comes supplied with the, uh, the with the different ends on them as well. So you can just tailor suit it to the style of fishing that you're doing on each particular day. For me, because I know people will ask, I tend to like uh, the front edge, the front buffer on, or as I call it, the buffer. 
um, on, on, on the edge nearest to where I'm fishing. Um, so obviously so I can fish with a method feeder or if I do get any violent bites when I've got the rod down on the rest, then obviously that's gonna stop my rod going in. But, and then I have it with nothing at this end, just one of those caps at the end, because obviously if I do happen to strike a little bit lower than normal, like we sometimes do when you're you know, reacting quickly, it means that there's nothing there for the line to get caught on as I move the rod away on the strike. Um, but they're the ones that I know a lot of people have seen, obviously with the lime green colours on there, that's why it's been so noticeable on my videos. But, um, but these are the ones that you know I've been using and I, I carry these two versions with me all the time now. And I think they just about, off the top of my head, cover just about every eventuality and scenario that I'm faced with now. Um, but for anybody who wants to see the exact stats and prices and that sort of thing of these products, there is a link directly below this video to the uh, Matrix uh, webpage where it gives you all the stats on these and it gives you the price as well. And there is also a store locator there as well so you can find out where your nearest stockist is as well. Hopefully that answers some of the questions that I've been getting as to why I carry these two and hopefully it explains the scenarios which and when and why I use each one. Like I say, there's lots of variations in just those two. They're nice and light, they pack away my carry-all quite easily. So if that's something you're interested in, then check the link out below and that'll give you more information. Well, one venue that is quite well associated with this channel is Boston Lakes. It's a fantastic fishery. It won the, um, I think it won the, the award last year, or was it the year before, or maybe both years, um, to be classed as the class as the Wembley of UK match fishing. It's a fantastic setup. It's a lovely lake, but it's just got a great setup with a clubhouse and all that sort of thing there. The reason why I'm mentioning it tonight is because a lot of people have been interested in the Boston Masters competition which takes place every year. There is one qualifier each month uh, and I'm glad to tell you that the tickets for next year have now gone on sale on the website. Um, at the time of filming there are still tickets left so hopefully when this gets online if any of you are interested then just go to the webpage, it's bostonlakes.co.uk and this is a webpage ticketing system and uh, you know it's not one where you've got to call anybody or or uh, it's just kind of done on a first come first serve basis. All you do is go down to the drop down tab, down where it says Boston Masters, and then select the month of the qualifier that you fancy fishing. And it will actually tell you how many tickets are left and you just book your ticket that way. You pay for it online and then your name's, you know, you're reserved. You've paid your 20 pound for the ticket and then just rock up on the day. It's a fantastic event. Like I say, the um, final takes place in November every year. It'll be over 2000 pounds to the winner in the final. And I think in the final as well, it's about a hundred pounds per section. That's what it was the last time I was there um, for the 10 peg section, which is a fantastic payout. So if that is something that you're interested in, I know a lot of people ask me about Boston Lakes, then you might want to check out that website and then you can see if there are any tickets left. Well, I've got to take this opportunity to say a big thank you for all the great messages we've been getting about a series of videos that we've been running over on the Fish Matrix YouTube channel. Um, I've been doing my monthly diary over there, so if that's you know something that you haven't seen yet, then I've been doing a, a monthly summary over on that channel about what I've been up to, the competitions that I've been in, and just some video footage from uh, from my escapades each month. So that's over on the Fish Matrix um, YouTube channel. Another series that we've been doing as well has been the A to Z of feeder fishing. Now this was Craig Butterfield's idea. I think it was a really nice idea. I wasn't quite sure about it at the first at first, but having read the reviews and the messages I've got, I know a lot of people have been enjoying seeing that and there's literally been one video every week going on there covering each letter of the alphabet and how it relates to feeder fishing. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go to playlists on this channel and I've got a playlist there where it's just some of my videos which are featured on other channels, so it's nice and easy to find it there. Or you can just head over to the Fish Matrix YouTube channel and it's the a to z of feeder fishing it's almost coming to an end now i think i'm not quite sure what letter we're on at the minute of filming but yeah it's almost come to an end so thanks for all the great messages and if you do get a chance to see it or if you have already seen it please comment below and let me know what you think well 
I've had another busy weekend. I was out coaching on one of the days. The other day I was out filming for myself on the Sunday, and then on Monday I was out filming with Matrix. So there are plenty more videos coming across different um, channels for you. And I know a lot of people are getting to that period of the year now where they probably don't fish quite as much, so I know they love watching the videos because, let's face it, the weather can be a little bit testing at times at this time of year. I've got quite a few matches coming up now through the winter. I've had a little bit of a quiet spell of matches since the, uh, the later stages of the Feeder Masters campaign and um, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in some winter fishing. For those that are interested, we are going to be fishing the Feeder Masters Winter Pairs competition again at Hallcroft Fishery. Can't wait to get back there again. I'm fishing that again with my partner, the same partner I have done for the last two years. Um, is Richard Vaughan, so looking forward to getting stuck in with Rich. The big change this year, the big news is that Bloodworm and Joker is not allowed this year. So I think that's going to be a very interesting twist, I think, because as a lot of you will probably know, whenever Bloodworm and Joker is allowed, sometimes you can get a little bit preoccupied with it because it's such a good bait and it can get you bites even in the hardest of conditions. Sometimes you can, I think you can get a little bit sidetracked with it because that's not in the equation this year. I think it's going to make a really interesting league. It's a league that's run on weight, the cumulative weight over six rounds. So as you can appreciate, you're never really out of it in a competition like that. And it's a pairs competition. So I'm going to be doing some filming of that league for you. So if you don't want to miss any, out on any of those videos, just hit subscribe and the notification bell so you're kept in the loop with all those videos. But yeah, we're really looking forward to um, getting stuck into that and I'll be reporting about our progress throughout the uh, throughout the course of the league. And on an individual note, I've got several golden rod feeder qualifier tickets. I've got one or two wildcard tickets in there as well, venues that I think there's a couple there that I haven't even fished before, but I've just got them. And I'm going to be filming my, if not all, of my uh, attempts at qualifying for that final again. That's going to take me right the way through the winter. You know, it's on a variety of venues. I think there's Car Mill in there, uh, Lindome Lakes, Decoy Lakes, Southfield, um, possibly Larford and Barston. I can't really remember what all the tickets are that I've got, but I'm going to be looking forward to filming that for you. So if you don't want to miss out on those, then just hit subscribe. Um, I'm going to be, like I say, I'm going to be doing um, just filming nearly every match for you because I think going to some of these new venues that I've not fished before, I think there's going to be a, a few interesting twists and turns along the way. So, really looking forward to getting stuck in some matches. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. The Thursday night videos are here to stay. And so, if you don't want to miss out on those, hit subscribe. And just please let me know what you think below. Um, obviously, I do read all the comments. I don't always get a chance to respond to every single one, but I do get a chance to read them every now and then. So, Please comment below and let me know what you think. Well, thanks for logging on again tonight. I can't wait to get stuck into the winter campaign and I'm really looking forward to sharing my experiences with you right here on this channel. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out on anything and I'll see you all in the next video.